Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be showing you how to make your own desk organizer using Tinkercad. We will be making a simple desk organizer. However, using the tools and skills I will show you, you'll be able to make something more complex, such as this, on your own time if you are interested. With that being said, let's get right into it. The first thing that we will have to do is go to Tinkercad and select Create a New 3D Design. Once it loads in, we will create the central part of our desk organizer by dragging in a cube. By clicking on the corner, we can click on these boxes and I will be setting the length of our cube to 80, the width of our cube to 80 as well, and by clicking this box here, I will set the height of our cube to 120. I'll pause and give you a couple of seconds to complete these steps yourself. With that being done, we will be moving on to hollow out this shape so that we can put pencils and other things inside of it. In order to do that, we will drag in a hole shaped box. And this one, we will set the length to 76. We'll set the width to 76. And we will set the height to 110 millimeters, like so. I would recommend pausing the video until you complete these steps. Next, we're going to have to line these two pieces up. In order to do this, we will drag and select both. We'll use the align tool and we will line them up so they are matching and also we will raise them up, the hole shaped box up so it's touching the top of our box like so. Now we can click and select both and group them together. Now we have the central part of our box where we will be holding pencils and other things. Now it's time to make the side pieces for holding additional things, like post-its, paper clips, or whatever else you might have on your desk. In order to do this, I will drag in a wedge shape. The first thing that we will have to do is click and rotate our wedge shape by 90 degrees. I'm sorry, 180 degrees. Now we want the wedge shape to have a width of 80 millimeters or 80 millimeters so it matches the side of our box. I will also select the box and the wedge and I'll use the align tool to line them up. Then I can click on my wedge and using the arrow keys I can move it until it's touching the edge of my box. Now, you can make the side pieces whatever size you like, but for this video, in order to make them large enough to hold a post-it note, I'm going to set the length of my box to be 60 millimeters, and I'm going to set the height to be 45, like so. Now we just need to hollow this out in order to create a, a space that will be able to hold post-it notes and whatever else we might want. In order to do this, I will click on my wedge shape and I will choose the duplicate command. This creates an identical shaped wedge underneath our first one. I'm going to click on this arrow and I'm going to raise up that duplicated wedge by two millimeters. Next I'm going to click and turn this into a hole. However, if I simply combine the two objects right now, I will remove the walls and things will be able to fall out of them very easily. In order to fix this, I'll click on this black box here and drag it in by one millimeter so that it says 79 on and then I'll click on the other side and drag it in by one millimeter as well. Now we can see that the whole shape does not overlap with 
either side. Now I can simply select both shapes and group them together. And now I have a perfect slot where I can hold stuff in this, uh, in this organizer. If you would like, you can create side compartments that are of different sizes by adjusting the height and length of your wedge shapes. Or if you simply want to create all of them the same, what you can do after this is copy and paste, rotate the wedge by 90 degrees, and move it so that it matches up with the side of the box. I will simply do this again, rotate by 90 degrees, and one more time. With all of these shapes created, I can click and drag and group them all together. And now I have a simple desk organizer that is ready to be 3D printed. If you would like, you could create your organizer out of a different shape, such as the hex gun I used in my initial design that I showed you and you can create side compartments that are varying widths and heights in order to store different objects. However, that's all for this video. In a later video, I will show you how to make a desk organizer that rotates in place so that you can spin around on your desk freely to access whatever you need. That being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.